Hello, it's uh, Jonathan Porterfield here again with another uh, video clip of an LPG combo van. This is the Factory Fit 1.4 model from Vauxhall on an 08 plate, registered the 11th of June 2008. So it's just over three years old, it's just come off lease from uh, Master Lease, which is a Vauxhall's leasing arm. The factory fitted system means you get a colour coded filler, it's fitted by Millbrook and also some dual fuel badging. So uh, this is the combo with the rear uh, glass in the rear doors and a high level brake light as well. So the spare wheel is obviously in the back of the van. Now it should be attached to that post as you can see there but because the uh, lease company fitted uh, this plastic the duty liner obviously the spare wheel can't fit so you can either leave this in the back of the office or you can actually just probably tailor the plastic just so that uh, you can attach the spare and there's also a, lock, uh, a wheel nut there in order to attach the uh, spare wheel so the gas tank is fitted where the spare wheel would have been and obviously underneath this liner it is like a brand new van this liner has been in from day one of the car being leased it's also a uh, uh, goods guard what we call it a mesh guard to protect the front two uh, passengers the driver and the passenger We've also got some interior lights in the back of these combo vans it's a very nice clean condition there's the uh, master lease number plates and uh, we sell these very very quickly at the moment extremely popular with businesses uh, driver's seat very 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 clean don't think it's had any hard work to be honest front passenger seat too no rips or stains no undue smells in the van also got some little storage area back there as well uh, manual windows in the front as you can see the only dents and dinks i can see some extremely shadow interior dents so something's fallen over inside just popped a couple of uh, raised points there but they will come out with our dent man so next time our dent man is with us i'll ask him to take those out this side's perfect so it's just those two dinks in the uh, side panels i've not actually washed this <laughs> yet or polished it so this is as we've collected it from master lease i cannot see there's a tiny chip there apart from that i can't see any marks to it at all the windscreen is chip free as you can see the roof is uh, dent free the roof is still dirty not yet washed it so you are seeing it warts and all so to speak uh, today so drivers uh, manual windows again front drivers seat is fine there's a small basic toolkit that came with the van so looking at the documents that came with the uh, the combo we've got uh, the Vauxhall wallet here with all the instruction manuals in, the audio guide and all the various documents that came with the van when it was first uh, leased from Master Lease and also a quick reference guide um, from Millbrook concerning the LPG system. Now we're still waiting for the V5 to come from Master Lease but that will be with us in the next few days and there's also the radio code and the key code card is here as well. Uh, the service book again just showing its date of uh, registration. It's actually supplied by a local Vauxhall dealer, Drive Vauxhall in Leicester. I believe it was leased to uh, Birmingham uh, Health Trust, but we'll know that uh, when we get the V5. So it's the first date of registration there. The, you can see it in the sun, the 11th of June 2008. So the service book is blank, as per often these low mileage combo vans. Now, the service indicator does come on every 12 months or 20,000 miles but when we start the car it doesn't actually come up with intervals so it has, oh, been, digging a has been serviced but uh, nothing is recorded but we will have the car uh, for the van serviced as a matter of course so uh, it's showing there, guarantee the miles, 12,841 miles. So more than likely has had a service, but we will have a service. But uh, on the miles, it's not actually due to 20,000 miles on these vans. So with the factory fitted system, click straight over to gas. 
I'll just turn the car off and just start it again and show you. With the ignition on, when that light flashes, it means it's going to start on petrol. Click from the boot, stops flashing, and immediately switches over to LPG. Now, both levels in both tanks are measured on the one fuel gauge, so we will send this out with the full tank of LPG auto gas. It should take about 50 litres, which should give you a range of around 330 345 miles per tank full. Normal basic features in the combo, you get a, a, a little uh, high level display there with the date and time, also the outside air temperature, also when you turn the radio on you get the radio readouts as well. Everything works on the car, single shot CD player, heating control, speed of the fan, direction of the airflow. And so as well as the LPG switch you get the uh, 12 volt power point, it uh, doesn't smell of smoke in here at all. A little glove box, a driver's airbag, lighting controls are down here. You can also turn on the interior light by means of that button as well. So uh, great vans, drive really really well. The seat belts are height adjustable. And uh, uh, I'll just take you now for a short test drive. Welcome to the test drive and uh, we're already running, we're just parked up. As you can hear, very very quiet when you're running in a, an LPG combo van, it looks quieter than the diesel. So we're clearing front and behind, pull away in first gear, clutch feels absolutely fine, it doesn't snatch or uh, grate in any way. Fourth gear, fifth gear, and uh, it drives very well. Drives straight, doesn't pull to the left or the right. And as we take these bends, there was no undue clunks or creaks. It drives as you'd expect from a 12,000 mile 1.4 petrol LPG combo van. Um, there's even a bit of a rattle from the back, and it's just a plastic liner. But uh, other than that, it's a very, very quiet place to be. A little bit of road noise from all these vans because obviously it's, uh, it's a bit like a huge drum in the back or an open space. The brakes feel fine. It uh, drives in and out of the corners very nicely. And, uh, if you're normally used to a diesel van, you'll be very very pleased to drive a van such as this. I forgot to mention too, it also comes with some Masterlease fabric overmats there in the front footwells. Quite a piece of tarmac now. Everything works on the van as it should. No warning lights on the dashboard. Very, very quiet. Great place to be. And as I thought, there's no one behind. Pull up, nice and hard. Stops in a nice straight line. So nothing to be uh, worried about on the braking system at all. So uh, just pull over and now we'll go back for a final walk around the around the van. So welcome back from the test drive. Um, at the moment there is just the one key with the van. Uh, the second key may appear but there's just the one remote key and uh, press it once to lock all the doors. Press it again, deadlocks all the doors. Press that just once, just opens the driver's door and keeps the other doors the rear doors and the passenger door locked, which is a nice safety feature. Uh, looking around the van, lots of tread on all the tyres. They're all the original uh, Pirelli tyres all round. There are no scuffs or dents to any of the corners of the bumpers, which we often see. And uh, the discs, as you would expect from just 12,000 miles, are like new. So there's no spend on this van whatsoever. It's ready to go. And uh, soon, we hopefully, we'll have v5 as well so if you have any questions about this or any of our lpg vehicles feel free to give me jonathan a call anytime thanks for watching